secret that we were sort of caught flat-footed here. We should have had testing capabilities and infrastructure in place sooner. Some experts have said we've probably lost about three weeks in terms of our overall preparedness and surveillance. That led to questions about who is infected. If everybody panics and everybody starts uh, pointing fingers, uh, Italians, we won't go to the Italian restaurant, or we won't go to the Chinese restaurant, like that is the kind of disruption, suffering that could impact many more people. That's already happening. Walks are cold, tables empty, Chinatown deserted. This restaurant owner in New York City's Chinatown says business is down about 50%. It's empty. People are very concerned. We understand their feelings, but actually it's hurting us too. And yesterday it escalated to this disturbing Facebook video of an Asian man being sprayed with air freshener on a New York City subway. Police investigating it as a hate crime. It's normal for some people to be scared. It's critically important to be able to respond to a public health crisis based on fact and not fear, and evidence and not emotion. So various states are, you know, either canceling mass gatherings or doing different things to help reduce the transmission in their particular community. Just hours ago, the famous South by Southwest Festival, worth more than $300 million to Austin, Texas, canceled. It was a very sad day for me today because we just had to cancel the Arnold's Classic Sports and Fitness Festival. Arnold Schwarzenegger postponing his hugely popular annual fitness festival. We want to keep people safe and we want to keep people healthy. Your best advice to people who are just right now fearful. I would say let's ramp down the, the overall panic that we're all going to die and that this is going to be the next plague and really focus our attention on our concerns for the very vulnerable among us. We're all in this together. These outbreaks kind of show us our common humanity and we really do need to fight them as a species. Deborah Roberts reporting tonight.